Hey guys, what's going on? It's Roger Death here. I hope you enjoyed the last League of Legends video I put out. That was a fun one to have. And uh, so what happened was, it was we were all new formal somehow, and he was basically the the group leader kind of guy. You've seen Harmless in uh, other videos of mine, I think I believe. Uh, I th I'm fairly certain he's been another one of mine. Uh, if not, you know, he's he's pretty cool. He does play. It's pretty good lol. Pretty good top laner. But, so, today's going to do something a little different. I just did a co-op game just to make sure this does work still. Uh, it was something I tried out in the beta, and I did a couple of games af of it afterwards. But I re haven't really touched it since then, and I just wanted to see, to test it to make sure it uh, sounded right. I'm going to try and go Jungle Yorick. And I've kind of improved the build a little, just because... I've realized I'm York Mori. I don't need to start with anything except the machete. That's it. You can grab the machete and you are done with, with your opening gambit. It, it's extremely weird in that most people don't have that kind Death of. Death is only the beginning. I need to do that. Uh, I also need to take my Kha'Zix jungle page. See if they rage. <laughs> That'd be funny. Because, I mean, it, it doesn't sound like it should work, does it? Jungle Yorick. He can top lane, but... You know, you don't expect that much out of him, but... I was able to solo dragon with blue boots... Uh, partially stacked man immune. Oh, come on. Uh, I was able to solo it. No damage taken. Because I was able to keep my minions coming up quick enough that it actually didn't matter. Death is only the beginning. Jungle. See if I can say it. Do, 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 do. Lock in. Go super beast mode, badassness. But yeah, York Jungle. It sounds like it shouldn't work. Not at all. It does, in my hands at least. It's outrageous. Just how well it works. Most people don't think it does, and so they kind of just wave him off as a threat and tell, Oh god, why am I- Oh shit, there's a Yorick there ganking my lane and now I can't get away, I have to flash- Oh shit, he has flash too, I'm dead. And he's at- He's at full health? What? You know, how many people are used to seeing a jungler? Yeah, they're full health. But that's after having- Well, they're, they're close to full health, but that's after the entire route. I can be full health pretty much the entire route. Uh, with Yorick and his sustain, it's wildly insane. Just how well it works. I'm checking. I actually want to check mobile fire, see if there is anybody else out there crazy enough to believe that this is this works. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Yorick, let's see. Look, top rated. Let's see if anybody, let's see, this one has, oh wow, that, yeah, nobody really has a build with a Yorick in, in the jungle, it's kind of sad, but <laughs> that makes me kind of unique, in that I am, uh, I'm quite unusual. That it's just so great. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at this top rated guy, and it's saying one of the cons is that the uh, Omen of Famine, which is the green one, the W. Uh, scales with AP and basically will only be used for the slow slash bush checking late game. Not true. Um, I, I kind of see that 
very untrue. No escape abilities, I agree with that. Can be mana starved, yeah. Um, Q's great, but yeah, it only gives the movement speed when you hit the enemy. But the biggest one's the ultimate, because so many people don't know what to do when they get that ultimate on them. It's like, they can't comprehend it. I, I, I just don't know. It's really weird. It just works so well. And most people don't really realize that. Now, the thing is, is that I'm a little unsure on post Omen of War. Yeah, it's the Omen of War, is I believe. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait. What? Did I get those completely? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to Pestilence is the green one. I apologize. I am an idiot. I should know these, but I just... I haven't been playing York in a long time. So, ready for this? Machete. I'm going to Famine. Two wolves. The last breath is Bam. Sweetest. It's the same... Damn it! I think I brought the same runes. Or same masteries and stuff. Damn it! That's not what I wanted. Um... This one is more tanky. Uh, it, it doesn't have straight up damage. It's sl a little slower, but not by much. It, it does allow him to uh, tank a little more. It really doesn't matter much. Everything has an expiration. It, it, it's date. an unorthodox strategy that pays dividends, because especially in a ranked game. Think about this: you're playing a ranked game. You see them pick Yorick, and then you see them pick. Somebody like Riven. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. <laughs> yeah. Um You can assume Riven's gonna jungle, so you're gonna counter pick Yorick and going Cho'Gath. Well Cho'Gath doesn't counter Riven, and Riven's actually the one going top. Yorick's gonna be in jungle. That can that one little weird change can really screw up the team dynamic and how they counter you. Minions have spawned. And you know what's kind of funny? I was watching one of my videos, one of my, one of my older videos, uh, I was raging about, well, kind of raging, about uh, how my team, my ranked teams, were all complete fail. And you know, they were. That's true. Um, but... Uh, it seemed so unconfident in what I was saying. Like, I didn't know what I was even saying. It, it was really, really bad. I, I had no clue what, what I was doing, basically. It was, like, not long after I had started. Okay, this might actually be bad here. Because I don't have... Okay, no. That pulled it long enough. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, see, that's why I like the other rune set more. Is it does keep me alive easier because they do do a lot more damage. It's not quite as risky, but really. I, I was just nowhere near confident. I, I didn't have any confidence in what I was saying. I, you could tell in my voice that I, I just was not confident. You know how you can tell? By, by listening to somebody, how they feel. Well, the best way to describe how I was feeling was shit. It was terrible. Anyway, back to this game. So, yeah, I do like to usually bring in the full 80, 80, 80 uh, rune sets. Like, straight 80, lots of it, all the time, all every day, all day. Just because it does allow that extra damage, and it is extremely useful early on. However, now that I have all my abilities, because that's the first thing you do, is when you're in the jungle, you get every single one of your abilities. Because the damage increase from going from one level to another and any of his others isn't as extreme as getting that other skill completely. Watch this. If I do this right, yeah, I can actually... 
near lockdown. Blue, 550. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn. Well, that was unexpected. Whatever. So, I did die, and I wasted my flash. Um, how did he know I was there at that time? And why did Annie decide to leave lane? Answers lie beneath the dirt. This is not the right rune set to have, and that's the issue I'm having. Is it shows to damn it. Man, that's another kill for Leeson probably. Leeson's probably gonna get it. Everything has an expiration oh, no. date. He he took care to to make sure that I got it. Well, what did I what could I do? I was just dead. I I kinda just clear camp. I will be there in a second. Excuse me for not being able to gank immediately after dying. Sometimes, man. There is only one destination. <laughs> See, that's kind of annoying, though, isn't it? Just takes so much damage so quickly from your. My services. <laughs> that's why he's so awesome. Is that he does do lots of damage really quickly. The downside to dying so quickly is I didn't have a chance Death to get the gank the off. Gift I offer. Well, I live. Yeah, it's just really annoying because it, it starves me a little bit on hold. And early game, that's bad because it's also starving him of mana. Uh, just because his mana regen. Even though I do get the spirit stone, it's just not that good. Answers lie beneath the dirt. His first clear is obviously his weakest, and yet his strongest at the same time. Why was there no ward bot? I I refuse to accept responsibility for this because Join nobody warded bot. Eternity. You you have to ward bot. That's just how you do it. If you're not gonna ward bot, don't even go bot. That's that's absolutely terrible, no no. Don't start Dorns. If, if you're going bot, don't ever start Dorns anything you as a support. If you do that, you uh, kind of deserve to be shot. It's terrible. Did he even get any wards? No. So that's amazing. Alright, so I'm going back to get a fairy charm and basic boots. Embrace the inevitable. <laughs> oh, so close. The problem is just that Malphite. Life I didn't see the entire fight, so I can't say, oh, the problem is that Malphite didn't do such and such the right way. I can't say that because I didn't see the entire thing. You know, it's entirely possible he did everything right. I, I just don't know. Breath is sweetest. So, I don't want to criticize him for that. Let's see if Malphite will get a ward. Answers lie beneath the dirt. Not great. Now it's a rush down to help Annie out. Pick up an extra level from that. Everything has an expiration date. Flank back around and hit Kale up. Oh god. Life Good job away. there. I am going to go get blue. Or potentially get blue to Annie. I, I just don't know. And the th the th here's, here's the thing that's been going on with discussion with a lot of junglers lately. Is to keep blue for yourself or to give it to mid. It, it's really... I mean, she's doing fine. Malphite, on the other hand, is kind of getting his ass handed to him. If you... I can't be everywhere at once. 
I don't know what he's expecting. He's going up against a Vlad, who's extremely tough. And he, he's... I, again, here's that idea of I can't judge because I haven't seen the whole fight. He's also not putting any wards up, though. You know, that's another thing. War. Every lane. Except for maybe mid, because it's just too hard to do so. Because you have the two directions you need to worry about them coming in. Do you know? I can understand not having a ward the first time you come out. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. Uh, but the second time? The third time? No, you, you need to get wards, people. Wards make your life much easier. Look at this Malphite. He's actually going all in. That's part of the problem. Is he's going hyper-aggression. And he actually doesn't have damage to back it up so much. The last breath is sweetest. So, Malphite has no map awareness. That's part of his problem. And he feels that he has the right to criticize me. I come in for a gank. He's not even prepared for it. Who requires my services? Oh, God. I need to get out. I can't handle both of them. The last breath Dude, I is can't. sweetest. Finally, something goes right, but it's not because of Malphite. I, I, I'm i not a fan of riding on other people. I really don't. I think it's kind of rude. I think it's selfish to, to think that you're better than these people. You, you... Middle of fucking winter and I have to have a damn space heater in my room. Uh, you have... You have not played in these kind of situations. You don't know the enemy player. You don't know the player that they are. They could be doing the best they can. And the other player's just better. You don't know until you've done it yourself. You will so, really. Pick up from Ash. Grab some health. Terrible moves from pretty much all their entire team, actually, right there. A little insurance policy just in case. It never hurts to have it there. You will remember your And Ash decides to stand in the middle of lane to retreat. I'll fight. You gonna fight anytime? No ults. The last no. Is no ults. That's cool. Don't stand there if you can't ult in. It, it, it's fundamentally a bad idea. You that want to be in a position where you you can utilize all your abilities the best of you that you can. If you don't have an ability, don't be in position to use that ability. That's the 
way I look at it is don't show up to a team fight. Or don't show up to a fight, period. Oh, God. Oh, Annie, not enough. There is no, f there's, there's no focusing going on. It's kind of target who you can. It's... Not my best game. I will tell you that. Much. Not my best game. Not my worst game. Not my best game. Um, but a lot of it is just the team position as out of position. I'm. I just don't like how that mouth fight was like. Uh, I'm the way over here. Oh wait, I don't have my ult. Why don't I just move in now then? There is only oh, one that's, that's destination. Terrible. You know, this Annie's been carrying us all game. I think Life it's only fair that she gets blown. Very carefully. Uh, just I just hit S whenever I'm trying to give uh, that away. Answers lie beneath the dirt. Be careful now, because, like, actually, here comes our entire team. And let's not stay close enough to York to where he's actually going to be able to save you. That's always a good idea. And that's the thing, is that a lot of people just don't think about York's ults. Nobody does. It, it wouldn't have kept her alive, sure, but it would have given her that extra, what is it, six seconds? I don't know. However long it is, it, it, that's, that's just how long, I guess, up to ten seconds. Life slips it, away. It just gives them that extra bit of time to get that kill in. And, you know, their entire team was there. Where was our Malphite? He was up top farming. His Malphite's out of position constantly. Everybody is out of position constantly. What's that? I can you can be ulted and saved. Lol, that's K. Don't need you anyway. You know th this team's kind of bad about that. My ult will save somebody from potentially dying, and if not, if they do die, it, it get that extra time to do stuff. They've got a Lee Sin. They have ultimate control of everything. Especially when this team is kind of out of position Answers all the time. The all day, every day, out of position. <laughs> I'm not like excited to be old. The last breath is sweetest. But his decision came so late in the game. You gonna just target me? That's actually a bad idea. Ow. Except the fact that I'm actually the only one trying to do anything while the rest of the team's up here farming. Embrace the inevitable. Fight happen. That means don't stand around to farm. Also, our Ash isn't even here. That's kind of a big deal. Again, with this whole, stay close to me, Annie. And for that matter, Ash, why are you not with the team?
It's, 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 can't, it's, it's just frustrating me to no end that these guys are running away from the guy that will give them the ability to get the kills after they're dead. It's so stupid. It, it makes no sense. Get my sheen and then I'm going to get start working on it. You will remember Yorick Mori. I'm going to go straight into the spirit of the ancient golem after this. You cannot... Cannot expect me to have infinite range, and people are, are acting like I can well, get you anywhere. No, I have a short us. range. It, it's not very big. It's not like our team's actually ever in position anyway. I'm dying a lot more than I should, and it's because this team. I mean, honestly, if you look at the positioning, nobody's ever where they're supposed to be. We all in the last two team fights, we've had people at top lane instead of. Everything you know, team fight. Has an expiration date. And then now they do, but the problem is, is that they forgot to fight people, not us. I can afford to do that. Right. Mention Ash can't even hit them. So that's not a good thing. Embrace the inevitable. Our Ash is sta stands out in the middle of their team. Rushed a last Whisper. Which is actually a terrible item to get first. Nunu tries to get the ultimate positioning, but in doing so basically gives them another free kill. Ezreal, Ezreal Tarek is gonna kill him. Can kill him, no problem. This team doesn't position. There is only one destination. I don't know what they expect to magically happen, but having Ash in the front doesn't solve anything. Getting a last whisper first doesn't solve anything. They have no armor on their team. Why do we have a last whisper already? Their team is decidedly armorless. There's absolutely no need to really rush it. The person that's got the most armor, I mean, Tarek's got armor, but that's it! A brutalizer would take care of that. God! I'm gonna do the fucking foolhardy thing of saving the team instead of saving myself. Especially given the teammate barely managed to get the kill. There is an issue here, and the issue is in this team. It's it's that our Ash rushed the last whisper. It, it's that our Annie's out of position. It says this Noon who's going full AP. Why? Congratulations, you guys just killed yourself because you're so foolhardy. It's hard to show you the true strength of Jungle York when the team, when you get teams like this that are out of position and don't position right and they expect to be able to just foolhardily run in, gung fucking hole, balls, balls deep, and win. When the I completely got out of position. Tarek has got 22 fucking assists. He's got more gold than our carry, I bet you. Uric 
The fact that Ash isn't even saying anything worries the shit out of me. Life slips away. Where the fuck do you think they are right now? We can't stop them if they're going for it. We don't have the power. Answers no chance in a half. Oh, oh shit, they hurt. actually aren't on it right now. They were obviously trying to steal it. Embrace the inevitable. Pick a target, pick a target, and stick to it. Make sure that target dies. Build items appropriate for the time in the game that you are, and don't give them. Don't give them an extra kill, thinking you can get a kill. That's that's terrible philosophy. You don't trade, and especially when the trade is massively negative for us, we can take out one of them because they've got four guys that have nine kills each. The last breath is sweet. The entire extent of our team comes down to the fact that Annie has 13 kills. I have fed 8 kills. Ash has died more than me. Our carry has died so much more than me. Ash the entire time. Ash said nothing. Look at this. I had more gold than Nunu, yeah. Because he didn't get any gold pretend. I almost had as much as Malphite, who was our top, and died a whole hell of a lot less than me. He got two kills more than me, but he didn't was down four assists, and he had more creep. Why do I... Why was I so close? Let's look at the damage on this team. Damage dealt to champions. I was actually the lowest on my team because I was constantly getting focused down, but I'm just barely below Nunu and Malphite. We're within a hundred points of each other. Our Annie was the only one that was actually doing any damage to champions. I'll record another one after this, guys, but I. I because I'm, I don't want to make this like a super long one, so I'm going to cut it off here. But I'm going to try and get another Jungle York video uh, done now and upload it uh, after this one. Just so that hopefully we can get a comparison of what a good Jungle York is and what a bad Jungle York is. You know? Uh, that said, that's it for now, guys, and I'll see you next time.